hi everyone welcome to chendu.org in today's video tutorial i want to show you how to design analytical charts in excel now the term analytical chart may sound like you know the term superman but the thing is uh, there is nothing new and i don't i really have no idea what to call them so i just chose the term analytical charts so excuse me while i make a small mistake in naming the charts but let me explain to you what i meant by this there are quite powerful software outside excel that constantly use visualization to drive the point home or help us understand the data better one such software which i have frequently mentioned on my blog is is google analytics google analytics is a small piece of software it's not really a software it's just a bunch of uh, uh it is a it is a tool provided by google uh, to all the website owners so it's like uh, myself who run chendu.org to understand the website traffic who is coming to our website and how they are behaving on the website where did they come from and all that so it is a website uh, statistics analysis tool and in order for it to work all i have to do is i have to put a small javascript tracking code which will keep track of all the visitors on my website and it sends information to google servers whenever somebody comes to my site and once in a while i log into google analytics so that i can understand what is going on with the website traffic let me very quickly show you how google analytics works and then we'll come back to excel and understand how to create some of the charts that google analytics uh, uses to help me understand the website traffic now this is a typical google analytics report i don't want to uh, focus you on too many things there are a lot of things here because i'm sure you might be overwhelmed with what is going on here but the most important aspect is for example if i am on a report that tells me all the traffic sources to my website in the month of february that is the last 30 days from february 13th to march 15th and if i look at it these are the traffic sources these are my tra top 10 traffic sources obviously google ranks all the way above everything else because many people find my site through google there is a good bit of direct and all that so this is top 10 sources that send traffic to my site and now this is a table of data which helps me understand what is going on i can see the visits from google are about 200000 whereas direct visits are 46,000 and pages per view. For example, here I is something interesting, right? Uh, even though there are 3,900 visits coming from uh, chendu.org itself, which is quite strange, but I think uh, this is depending on how Google tracks it. Each of them is spending about six minutes on the site visiting eight different pages. So quite an interesting statistic. Now, the most important thing here is that this is data presented in one format but i can tell google show me the same data in a different way there are some buttons here using which i can analyze this data in a different way this is what i call as analytical chart so if i click on percentage the same data will be presented like this so visits with the percentage and a pie chart so that i can see the proportion of each each uh, source as they call it that sends traffic to my site in the 100 percent pie similarly i could just sh ask google to show me the performance and the same will be shown as these kind of charts in excel we can do them using incel charts or conditional formatting data bars then if i go for comparison the visits that are coming from each source are compared to the site average now these are four different charts that feed from the same data and uh, four different visualizations and depending on user's mood and uh, and what what i want to understand i could choose any chart for example i could choose this if i want to compare any particular source with the site average and see whether it is sending more than average or less than average now there is another option called pivot but that is uh, quite difficult to achieve with what is possible in excel i mean it is possible only thing is we have to do a lot more work so we'll just skip that now i want to go back to excel and i want to show you what we have in my uh, what i have in mind for this tutorial so this is what i call as an analytical chart 
let me expand the ribbon so we have the usual clutter above and then we can mess with something if required so I, I ask a simple question how do you want to visualize the data and the data is shown in comparison but if I click on table it will be shown as table if I click on percentage the same data will be shown but as along with the pie chart if I click on performance the same data will be shown but this time like this so you, you can easily very vi compare visually one source with another you can choose comparison so you can compare values against the average now if you go back to Google's metric it compares to the site average meaning there are only 10 sources shown in this report but if you look at here you can see that there are 1468 different sources be it different websites or different traffic sources or newsletters or whatever that send traffic to my site so all these 1468 will be used to get the site average whereas here I just used the 10 that we have so some of them are above average some of them are below average but it's not important uh, to understand how these charts are constructed rather what is important is what is the technique that we can use to switch between different views of the data either from table or a pie chart or something else or something else so let me very quickly show that technique to you for example uh, many of you could already figured out some parts of this puzzle okay so let us get uh, uh, move on and understand how these particular charts are created and how we we added this selection mechanism at the top it's pretty straightforward we have this raw data that I have imported from Google and for the time being we'll just neglect this this particular cell which is having a one inside it what I did is I created all these four different charts individually in different ranges of cells so this is chart one which has a table and this is the same data whatever we have here formatted so that it looks like a nice little table then the same data I have used it to create this thing here which is a pie chart now you might be wondering how I got the legend here nicely that corresponds to what we have here I will reveal the trick in a minute but first let me show that this is just the same data but here I have calculated the percentage by dividing this value with the total we have here and then uh, I made a pie chart once the pie chart is done I just went to the design tab and chosen a style like that so that uh, the colors are nicely ranging from uh, this color here all the way up to that color okay once I have those colors what I did is I just typed the numbers 10 9 8 7 like that all the way up to 1 in these cells from 10 to 1 and then I selected them I applied conditional formatting color scale let me show the rule to you it's a three color scale uh, with the lowest number will be getting this color middle number will be getting the middle color and the last number will get that color so automatically since the 10 will be the highest it will get that color and one will be this it will get uh, that color and everything else will get in between then I have put some white color border in between so it looks like the legend is added here but what I did was in fact cheated the system by <laughs> using conditional formatting here and uh, pie chart style here so that they correspond nicely this kind of reduced all the extra work that I have to do to format the cells or anything like that then I put only three labels for the top three values the rest everything can be read from the table here then the third one is again very simple here you can see that I'm using Excel 2010 uh, so it has the file menu on the top and uh, so this is actually the data bar so this is the data bar that I have used manage rules you can see that I have used a data bar with solid fill now in earlier versions of Excel that is Excel 2007 it is not possible to have a solid fill bar you can only get the data bar with the gradient fill which is quite ugly to be frank so what we can do in that se that scenario is we could use an incel chart which is what I have used here for the comparison for the comparison I just calculated the average of all these 10 values and we will come to the scaling factor in a minute but essentially once the this is done there are two sets of cells 
you can see that column E and F are merged to form one set of cell and then GHI are formed to merge to form another set of cell. Now I wanted to show a green color bar that goes from this point to this direction. Whenever the visits compared to the average or a positive percentage that is more. How do I come to this calculation? Pretty simple again. Uh, it's nothing great. What we did is we just took this value and divided it by that value and subtracted one. So since 200,000 happens to be, you know, roughly six times 28,000, uh, you will get this divided by that will be roughly seven or something. Then you take out one, you will get 6044. Meaning this particular source, Google has sent uh, 604 percentage visits more compared to the site average which is of 28,462 okay like that uh, I don't want to get into the calculation details more because this is quite obvious and simple arithmetic then once the values are found I just uh, use it the scaling factor to knock the number down to in this case I just uh, got the 28 20 percentage of it by multiplying this and that because we could print uh, the incel charting is pretty simple right what we do is ripped and we repeat that pipe symbol you know, 100 times it will put the pipe symbol 100 times now if I put it 600 times this column will be too wide and that's not something that we would enjoy so what I did is I used the scaling factor to reduce this number to something meaningful so that it fits nicely inside this width and then I formatted this entire column with green color, this column with red color. Obviously the formula here is slightly different. What here we are doing is we are checking if the value is less than zero. If it is less than zero, we are taking minus of that value and multiplying it with the scaling factor and printing that many times this pipe symbol. Again, nothing very great. Uh, if you have been reading chandu.org for a while, you already know all these pieces of puzzle. So once these two are figured out, uh, all I had to do was this column will be red color, like this red color, and this column will be green color. Great. And then we have four different charts, all of them are ready. Now we have to figure out a mechanism to switch between one view to another upon click. The first thing that I did is selected this entire table and named it as CHTRNG1. It is not necessary to create the names, but I created them because that will make the life simpler for me. Then I did the same process for the remaining ones, uh, selected the everything CHTRNG2, CHTRNG3, CHTRNG4, meaning chart range 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the four different ranges. Then what I did is I went to the developer tab and I inserted these radio buttons. It's called the option button or radio button. Uh, what we can, what we do is when you put multiple radio buttons on a spreadsheet and link all of them to the same cell, when you select one of them, the value of the linked cell will change. Here you can see it is two now. Uh, if I select this, it will become three. If I select that, it will become four. It's again very simple stuff. If you right click and say format control, all you had to do was point them to the same cell link. That's all you had to do. So put four different buttons, add the label nicely, table percentage performance and comparison, and then link all of them to the same cell. And that's it. Excel will update that cell with the value one to four, one, two, three, four, anything depending on where you click. If you click the first button, it will be one like that. Okay, great. So now that we are done with that, all we had to do was based on this value, we had to show that particular range here. Now the trick here is there is a feature in Excel called picture links in earlier versions it is called as camera tool. Whatever it may be, it does the same thing. You select a bunch of cells, press control C, go anywhere else and paste special, click the down arrow and you have to choose the last option, linked picture. You might see this thing as a different one in Excel 2007, but essentially the option is paste a picture link. Okay, when you paste, uh, I think there's some problem, yeah, oh, it is there, great. So this is a picture link that corresponds to that cell range, B67 to I77, right? B67 to I77, right? 
Now, if I change this to, for example, I-79, you can see that the picture link size also grows nicely. Similarly, if I change this from I to M, it grows. So this is a picture link, but even though it is a picture link, it is quite dynamic and powerful. Now, all I had to do was point this to chart range 1, 2, 3, 4, any of them, depending on where the user clicked. Again, very, very simple stuff. What I did was I used formulas. I I defined a new name called CHD cell, meaning selected chart. And then I used the choose formula. Choose formula will pick up one value from multiple values. And then I asked Excel to choose based on the value in this thing, K, K51. If K51 happens to be one, it will be chart range one, two, three, four, whatever. Pretty simple. And then uh, I selected this range and then I said, CHT cell that's it so when I click on percentage automatically the picture link gets updated like that there is no need for the second one so we get rid of that remember the very first step to get the picture link here has to be a manual one meaning you have to select some cells control C and put a picture link only when you have a live picture link like this then you can edit the formula and point it to CHT cell Otherwise, what happens is uh, you may have to insert a picture. If you, if you put a picture, then you cannot assign a formula to it. So you always have to go through this picture link route, which is uh, what I, uh, somewhat slightly manual stuff, but it is still okay. So that is how we can get this thing into Excel, which is asking, giving the power back to user to select the kind of visualization they want. I find this technique quite powerful because uh, quite a few times managers or analysts would like to see the same data from different perspectives. Although here nothing great is happening, when you combine this with some really awesome charts, these are pretty simple charts, right? Uh, you know, there is no need to show the same information in six different redundant ways. But in real life, you may want to actually do this for various different metrics or, you know, compare one with another and all sorts of things. And when you put all those things in the same view, your dashboard or your report gets cluttered. So you can put the uh, you can put the most common view, which is table view, and then give an option for users to switch to other views like this. So this is a powerful way to engage your users into the report and then uh, you know come up with some awesome conclusions. I hope you have enjoyed this short video tutorial and learned something new from this. I know we have used Excel 2010, uh, so some of you may not be related to what is going on here, but all these ideas are applicable equally well in earlier versions too, so there is no need to worry. If you like this lesson, I encourage you to join our newsletter. There is a button in the downloadable Excel file. Make sure you have downloaded the Excel file from the website and uh, join our newsletter. It's free and every day we get you, we send you one one email newsletter with some excel tip or information that will help you if you also enjoy this lesson and wanted to learn more i encourage you to join my excel school program it's quite powerful program that has trained more than 900 students till date on excel various features in excel and taught them how to construct powerful dashboards awesome dashboards so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this short lesson and if you like it just get on to our newsletter or join our excel school program Thank you very much for uh, spending some time with me today. You have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.